Hi, my name is Julia and I work as an Agile colleague at Smedich Network in Hamburg. For me personally, it means bringing new ways of developing products, especially software products, but also any kind of digital project, product and helping people to understand and to adapt to new ways of doing their work. And for me, this is a work that um, puts people at the center, puts teamwork at the center of everything. So from a customer perspective, from a people perspective, from a business perspective, you focus on the people and you try to develop products that are good for people. Good depends on the criteria of the business and the context, but I think it's a very people-friendly approach to work um, because it makes people feel um, they got control over the work and they can influence what they do and then they contribute to if the company allows them to a, a, a better purpose and I think it really brings out the creativity of people and brings out the best in people so that's this is what I'm, I think Agile is bringing to organization and my job is to to help people to get there because it's very difficult because we didn't learn that many of us didn't learn this in our careers in our biographies and um, and I think it's very, um, it's making me happy to help other people to get into this kind of thinking and doing things. So that's, that's for me what it means to be an Agile coach. What is the big barriers of Agile? What, what do I think companies do wrong? Um, I like to I like to I like to cite a little anecdote I experienced in my career. Um, it's, a, it's a few years ago, and when you when you work as a consultant, you go to many companies and you have probably like a short introduction to some management people and you talk to them. And I was sitting in front of a management person, and um, and he was like telling me about that he read about Agile and he thinks that this is good for his company and that I, that he heard of the Agile principles and there are twelve of it and he picked six. And he wants us to work with these six principles. And I was like, no, no, you cannot pick six out of them and then like forget about the rest. It's not possible. And we went into this discussion and it was really, it was a misunderstanding and we had to talk about it. But I really like this anecdote because some, this is what, what I often hear that people focus on elements of it because they think it's practical to do that or it, it, it they jump to one of the principles because they think it's, it's our solution and we have this problem right here. But Agile is really a very complex system and you really have to learn and it takes time to develop and, and it's really a change. It's changing fundamentally how we do things. It's not a short-term change initiative like other ones. And if you don't get this and if you don't allow for the time to develop and learn into that direction, then you this is, a, this is the barrier because people don't understand this is not short term. We apply some method and then things get better. But this, this, this is for me really fundamentally changing the way we see the business world. We see interaction with teams. We see interaction with people. And it takes time. And, and often this, this time aspect does not so much fit into the company's context. It's difficult. It, 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 it requires patience and yeah. was my opinion about Scrum, that's a funny one. Actually, I like Scrum because it's, um, it's so basic and I really like to start with Scrum. It's like mm, I, I have a background in learning and um, um, the, uh, the, the learning science says that people who are beginners, they need checklists and they need simple procedures to start with. And only if they have this, they gain the security to make more. And this is why I like Scrum, because it brings you a set of rules, a set of artifacts, a set of roles, and you do that, and you can start living it, and you can start experiencing it. Um, and that's why I like it. But it's, it, it, it has also, be, it must be clear that this is only the start of the process. So you really have to know what to reflect upon in the review and in the retrospective, what to think about, where to direct it. And if you feel it's not matching our context, I personally feel you should be allowed to adapt it if you stick to the Agile principle. So I think it's a great starting point. I have seen many teams flourish under it. 
but um, it's something that needs to evolve over a longer process. And if I say evolve, I mean years, not weeks. It's not like you start with Scrum, two weeks, okay, we are fine with it, we change it. No, 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 no. Stick to it for a year at least and then start to change it if you understood how Agile works. So that's my opinion about Scrum. And, and also relating back to the first question or the, second, the, the, the question before, um, also for Scrum you can't pick individual things. You have to do the whole thing and, um, and it's also important to understand that Scrum is not applicable to every situation. So you really have to see, if, is this a product development work? Is this a team size in an organization that can deal with the requirements of Scrum? And if not, then Scrum is just not the right method because it has some preconditions you need to fulfill before it works. <laughs>